Okay, hello. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Sojan? Hey, 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 delay capture. Sound and everything's working just fine, correct? Good, good. All right, so I will. <laughs> so I'll continue working on the abomination, and then I was going to be like, "Oh, I'll work on a zombie next." I hadn't gotten one out of the box yet and primed up, so fail on my part. But hey, if I get uh, far enough on this guy, then we'll just uh, work on one of the heroes. So. Okay, so I've been trying to find other art of this this guy, aside from the nice little uh, reference card art, uh, and I have found nothing. So I'm going to have to use some uh, artistic liberties, like I know he has flesh-colored stuff here under the arms and whatnot, and it almost looks like the back of the legs in the back, but I think I'm going to go more the shark-like appearance that he has and I'm just gonna have the underbelly and the arms have that fleshy tone and the rest is all gonna be gray what do you guys think hey crypt monkey and then obviously this webbing here between his hands it's gonna have that uh, I'm actually gonna go with vampiric skin I think that'll work best. Yeah, because I intentionally didn't paint this. And then this looks kind of like a, I don't know, mossy green or something like that. Hey, Dr. Irrefutable. Welcome. Sit down. Have some plaid. So I might go ahead and touch up the rest of the stuff that I need to do gray with gray and then I'll go and do the uh, stuff with vamp vampiric skin hey and let's not do lead belcher let's actually do uh, mechanica standard gray right <laughs> I thought I had a pot out here which we'll just go with this one uh, I did a zenithal highlight uh, I started painting him last Wednesday uh, yes, he's been primed because he was originally green. So, but as you can see at the art, it's a lot of gray. All right, hello, Muse's Touch. Thank you for the raid. Working more on this abomination. I think I use Mechanicus Standard Gray. At least that's what we're going to go with now. And thank you everyone who hitched along with Muse's Touch to raid my humble channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that uh, follow button. And if you really like what I'm doing, go ahead and give me a subscribe. So like I was just telling these guys, for those of you just joining, um, I was trying to find more reference artwork to see if like this back here is flesh colored or if it's gray and I could find nothing. So I'm just going to kind of go the shark approach and just have his belly be like a flesh color or whatever this flesh color is and the rest will be gray like the shark. I'll just do some blending in here, or sometimes there's actually just a defined line. Oh, 
Hola. It's definitely more disgusting mud fish creature than creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, which is I think why they have him uh, uh, gray. So, Peel Seal 2, I assume you're the guy who hit me up for the Battletech Commission, right? Since I try not to use real names on stream. Alright, cool. Well, you can watch how I paint up some of this and with your set of hero quest if you want me to paint it up too what's well, a third box to paint up right <laughs> and just so you know too uh Peel Seal. Uh, Sojan is my buddy who came down, or I should say up, to Wayne to play D&D &D with me. Yeah, poop rocks for the win. We took it all the way to 11. <laughs> yes, indeed. A very happy late birthday to him, even though I had said it on Monday. Getting this webbing here. Yeah, I think this will definitely work. Alright, cool, cool. I probably should have grabbed one too. Grab me one too, so Jan. Looks good and sharky slash angler fish e ish. Something like that. And yeah, I know I needed to probably do some gap filling, but hey, these are just some test minis, so. Plus, who really looks at the uh, minions that much? They look more at the heroes. <laughs> yeah, I think I do remember that that guy in our hometown. Actually had the license plate, mmm, beer. <laughs> I 
And then there's the one guy with the Mr. Salsa license plate that drove slow as shit everywhere. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's see, I need almost... Well, if I'm going to go moldy green, might as well... <coughs> hmm. Nah, you know what? I am. See one stare me in the face here. That ought to work. I'm gonna do muddy olive. Just to get his loincloth painted. Because it looks like a weird, disgusting green color. This muddy olive ought to be a good start. Oh yeah, you like the palette placement there? Plus, this will be a nice little splash of color here. Oh, and uh, Muse, if you're still here, I've actually started painting some of the orc terrain. Hey, Michelle. How are you? You've missed two awkward stares already. But I'm sure there will be more. <laughs> yeah, here, real quick, I'll do a quick... I actually had them right by my desk, just to show them off, if you're going to hang out for a little while. Um, here's the first one. And actually, Reaper's Coal Black is a perfect shade for tires. there's the first one and then this one is almost done I need to do a dry brush of uh, lead belcher over everything but yeah uh, found a few other tutorials <laughs> likely I mean likey <laughs> But yeah, I found a few tutorials on how some people have uh, speed painted because otherwise, I mean, just looking at this alone, if I really wanted to go nuts painting, I could. And you could get so swamped in the details on this. Um, I did all of this last night while talking to Delay Capture, and it took me about maybe, it's a trap. <laughs> maybe 30 minutes or so to do about this. I mean, I... Fiddle farted a little bit longer with uh, the yellow. Hello there. Hello there, Ty. Just showing off some orky terrain. Quick. And going back to painting the Hero Forge. Or, yeah, Hero for Wow. The Hero Quest. <laughs> um, just reaching into a cupboard and uh, reach too fast and too high and just scrape the top of my finger here against the bottom of the cover and it just peeled back a good chunk of skin and so I just put the band-aid there just so I quit rubbing it against everything 
So, and these are actually athletic bandages that have, uh, um, oh, like, uh, healing cream already on them, and they're waterproof, so, yeah, I mean, I went all night last night without anything on there, but I was getting ready for work, and I kept scraping it when I was putting stuff into my pockets, I was just like, alright, you know what, I'm just gonna not deal with this all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of Fast and Furious, it was too fast, too high. Hey -o. Okay, and then <laughs> Oh, you did. You found your old 40k minis. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. I forget what faction did you have? Here, Dr. Irrefutable. Okay, I'm gonna paint the inside of the mouth. Ah, you know what we are gonna do? Gonna do... Let's do gory red. Here you go, Michelle. Just for you. a few actually not a proper army at all. But hey, it might be enough for kill team. <laughs> yeah, it does. Quest box from 1989. Oh, okay. Squad of swooping hawks with an Exarch and a single Space Marine Terminator. All right. Well, yeah, I would happily pay those for you, or yeah, paint those for you too. So yeah, my Wednesdays will be Hero Quest for quite some time. Yeah, well, um, yeah, in the new lore, there's the Primaris Marines, and they've actually gone up from 28 to 32 millimeter scale with them. So the whole Titan Legions box set too. Wow. Like the old epic where, like, you know, the Titans were about, like, the sizes of these miniatures and, like, the Space Marines were just, like, itty-bitty little bits. Oh, this, it's the, uh, shoot -uh for the, uh, knob of my commandos. And his power claws here somewhere. Alright, good night. Thanks for swinging by, man. But yeah, here's. It's gonna be the commander, or the leader, of my orcs. It came in the kill team. See? So yeah, that's what the gun was. That was, that was his shooter. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you only get, uh, I think you only get one knob. And I think I'm going to try to green stuff in a cigar in his mouth. So that's what that was there. Yeah. 
yeah. Well, considering how much damage it does in the tabletop, and it costs nothing extra to have it. Yeah, so Jan, like, that's, like, gonna be the weird part, is, um, there's no point costs for things. It's like, <coughs> sorry. It's like, hey, you can take a leader. And, like, for this guy, it's like, you can either give him a, um, a power claw or, um, there was, like, two other weapon options, but, uh, in all seriousness, you would just take the power claw. Just like with the, uh, yeah, Choppa power claw, and there might have been one other. And just like with the, um, veteran guardsman, you could either take a, uh, it's either a chain sword, a power sword, or yeah, and then like either a bolt pistol or a plasma pistol. I can, but also there's a bunch of specialist units that um, I'm probably going to use in this. Like I'm going to have the rocket boys, and I'm going to have. Um, Gonna have a burner, burner boy. Yeah, like actually in the um, the way they have it set up, you can take all of the special units with the orcs that are in the box set, but you can't with the uh, veteran guardsmen, which is kind of irritating. Shaft of the spear. And it looks to be about this. You know what? I'm going to go with Bang Blade Brown. Yeah, there's Choppas, there's Burners, there's a, there's a Daka Boy. Which his gun has three barrels. Because it's extra DACA. Yep, and then I think you can take a Commando Grot. And of course, everyone's favorite, the Bomb Squig. Yes, um, and actually, <laughs> either um, shooting weapons either have reach across the entire map or six inches. There's no in between. Especially when it's the bomb squig with the grot that has a nail as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, now um, all ranged weapons either have yeah a uh, range of six inches or just the entire map. School, you can just buy a box of Primaris Intercessors, paint them. What do you want for any faction? Yeah, and there's even some uh, upgrade packs, too, for Primaris Marines. Um, I have one. I think it's right here. Yeah. So, of course, not surprising anyone... Uh, yeah, I have uh, Space Wolf Primaris upgrades. So, it's a bunch of shoulder pads, some chain swords, daggers, of course, wolf totems, different Space Wolfy heads, stuff like that. Now we'll 
we'll do some lead belcher on all of the spear. Yeah, this guy might actually be kind of a quicker paint job. And I might actually be able to work on one of the heroes for a little bit. After I do a wash and just let that dry. I know I'm taking straight from the pot and I'm not really thinning it, but eh, I just kind of want to do one and done kind of coverage on a lot of these. And you know what, I'll hit up these guys. Ah, you know what, let's do a little splash of color there. Let's see, what color are, or does anybody know off the top of their head what color uh, barnacles usually are? Because I really don't remember. So if anybody does, type that up in chat. Uh, I will paint this starfish, usually white. And we'll do just a little bit yeah because they look kind of white or gray all right sweet so this little starfish we'll just get a little splash of color here. It'll be brought down with the wash that I'll be doing over everything. What, make the starfish purple? Or the barnacles purple? Both brown undertones. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they're kind of like a brownish white. So, actually, yep, no, nah, I didn't want that one anyways. Fine, you fall there. Um, hmm. Either. You know what? Let's go with. <coughs> anything everything all right i'm gonna go with uh ginger cookie which i got from reaper's uh, uh holiday set a couple years ago Yes, yeah, yes. Figured if anyone knew, you would know. Muse.
No, I haven't, and I don't know if I will, because it seems very close to <laughs> go with the Barnacle Brown. You know, if I did have Barnacle Brown, I'd go with it. No, I haven't gotten it yet, and I don't really know if I will or not. <laughs> it looks like he's got a bad case of barnacles over here, too. And another starfish. few little hidden gems on this, I see. Well, yeah. Oh, I see. Turnabout is fair play, huh? Well, I'll tell you, there's some sounds in my bits that uh, would probably startle me if you want to go that route. Yeah, little hidden starfish just right there. And you know what? For Dawn and for Muse, I'll actually make that one um, purple. We'll go Damonette Hide. Matt Damon. You know the whole reason why they did that in Team America with Matt Damon, right? <laughs> so, you know, they're making the puppets of all of the actors <coughs> and most of them turned out to be pretty good well they got the Matt Damon one and he just looked um, I'm gonna be incredibly on PC here but he just looked retarded and they even thought that and they're just like you know what he's just gonna say his name so yeah the puppet turned out looking stupid and so they just ran with that bit Getting some of these little gills. <laughs> Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Yeah, that's one of the loud ones, yep. <laughs>
<laughs> yep. There's another one in there that's actually quite loud, too, if I'm going to be completely honest. And I'll tell you what, that one's, that one's a free one with bits, Dawn. Just so you know. Made it free so other people could play it. You have a good reason to make fun of him. Everyone else says your shtick that's easy to make fun of. Not to Matt Damon. They're like, he's such a cool guy. I don't know what to do. So they just ran with a puppet that looks derpy. <laughs> just said his name. Yeah, he does seem like kind of one of those guys that, uh, you know, he seems fairly cool. Impressive. Most impressive. Not that one. Okay, since this guy looks like he'd dingy, dirty, murky water kind of guy. Um, I'm going to hit him up. Oh, sweet. I'm going to hit him up with some good old Agrax Earthshade. That's the loud one. <laughs> But I'm not going to hit this with the um, brown wash. I'm going to hit this one with green because it looks like it's actually covered in uh, like mildew and moss. So. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. I'm uh, going to flood it. <laughs> Flood my tip jar, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's a pissed off Muddy Mud Skipper. Well, wait a minute. Muddy Mud Skipper was already pissed off. <laughs> oh, boy. He's muddy. Mud Skipper, he's muddy. Mud Skipper. <laughs> yeah, I saw some of them missed. <laughs> and <laughs> it's fun watching bit physics. Yep, good old Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> the, the weird phenomenon that somehow got on Nickelodeon and was on there for that long. Uh, yeah, it was just a little skit in some of the episodes. It wasn't in every episode. Well, thank you, guys. Really flooding up the tip jar.
Rin Stimpy was bent beyond words. How did it still stay on the air? Um, it didn't. <laughs> I mean, and I made the mistake of finding a DVD of the lost episodes. Yeah, those things were best, st uh, best meant to stay lost. Just for a point of reference. <laughs> Big, it's heavy, it's wood. <laughs> or, or when they were the door to door rubber nipple salesman. Good lord, thank you guys. Like, just flooding the tip jar, and then somebody's gonna drop a bomb, and they're gonna go scattering everywhere. Can't be as bad as adult party cartoon. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> well, what's adult party cartoon, Kiko? I don't remember that one. The cup must be full. The cup is full. The cup has been filled. Damn it! Okay, so I think this is going to be a perfect green wash for both the uh, cloth of loining. Oh, and I missed just a little bit there. All right, Don. I'll catch you later. Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> My spoon. Oh, yeah, the rejected cartoon. My spoon is too big. <laughs> oh, and she's dropping the bomb. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect right there. Yeah, I always thought like this uh Athonian camo shade looked like dirty pond water. Yeah, look at that. Hey, good morning, Michael Mordor. Just having some fun. Painting up this abomination to look as close as I can to what I think this art is. Yeah, look how full my tip jar is, Michael. And Michelle is still boss, too, after all of that, too. Gotta get up around 5 a.m., so you gotta crash. I understand. <clears throat> oh, she's gonna drop another bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Sojan with the artillery. <laughs> I have no idea why it's not showing sub notifications, Michael and Michelle. I know you guys have done that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, Sojan is the boss. <laughs> yeah, this is all just in my OBS software. Just fun little add-ons. 
<laughs> and now the cup is empty. The cup must be filled. Okay. Um. So that's it for him right now. He's going to dry for a little bit. Um. Well, Michael, since you're here, I'll let you choose. Which one of the heroes would you like me to start on right now? I have... Uh, I have the stock barbarian, wizard, elf, or dwarf. Which would you like me to start on? Or would you like me to showcase some of the other monsters? All right, start with a barbarian. All right. Ba -ba barbarian. All righty. I know I have his card here. Well, yeah, and Dawn, if you're still here, I mean, my my Mordor paint. It's just, just right over there. It's just right over there. See? Look, I'm holding it right now. Ah. Maybe you saw a little bit there. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Moist. Well, you know what? Do I really need the artwork card for the Barbarian? Because he just looks like Conan. So, let's go ahead and start with dropping some paint. Uh, yeah, we'll just start with some good old Bugman's Glow. And work up from there. Well, it was only one episode because it was the pilot, and it was Korgoth of Barbaria. And uh, it was epic as shit. And I am so mad that Adult Swim did not pick that up. Yeah, if you guys want like an epic. Uh, Conan-esque cartoon. Just look up Korgoth of Barbaria. And you will not... Like, Michael, after my stream, go watch Korgoth of Barbaria. And you will be amazed, yet pissed, that this did not become a series. Like, right, here. I'll even do you guys a favor, and I'll even spell it. Like, it's funny, it's ridiculous, it's cool. Like, everything you would expect of a Conan knockoff cartoon. Though this is going to be the problem here, that he already comes assembled, getting to some parts here on the chest. At least I'll just do that first so I can be, lack of a better term, sloppy as hell with it. Then just tighten it up from there. Make it nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, then they went and picked up Tim and Eric. Like, I... Th yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah, Tim and, Tim and Eric were, <laughs> were the two idiots.
been binging Lower Decks and really enjoying it. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to try to watch that. Um, my buddy actually signed in to his Paramount account on my PS4, but it will play <coughs> everything else except uh, Lower Decks, which is kind of irritating because that's the whole reason I kind of wanted it. Okay, I think I got most of the Bugman's Glow where I need it to be. At least that will be seen. I'll just go under there and tickle his nuts a little bit. <laughs> because what barbarian wouldn't like that? No, I've not watched Primal. Or are you talking to Ty? some Cadian flesh tone then probably do a wash over him let's go with a little bit of a finer tip brush here well let's get some on the palette first oh was that uh I don't know, or was that Pickles that you're thinking of? There we go. That's one show I haven't gotten into yet. It looks really good. But if you've stuck with it for this long, Michael, it must be pretty damn good. Very good show. Okay. Just trying to highlight some of these meefier back muscles and arm muscles here, quick. <coughs> it's kind of a quick and dirty highlight. Just so that way the wash actually picks it out quite a bit more. And actually, the other day I was actually watching the OG 
Conan the Barbarian, just for some background music, which that's always awesome to listen to. Just how the music tells the story in that. I actually painted quite a few of my Space Wolves in the past to just that soundtrack. I think I missed part of a leg here. Yep. Hard to tell sometimes where sometimes the clothing ends and the leg begins at times. Yes, every now and then I'll lick my brushes to get a tip back, but that's about the extent of my brush lickery. Man, and the brush holder that uh, <coughs> um, Christ, that Rod gave me actually filling up quite a bit with just drying brushes every now and then. Okay, so let's see. I'll let this. Should be good. All right, I'm going to use Michael's secret weapon and use Army Shade Flesh Wash. <laughs> Which, if you say that out loud, they lick their fingers while caulking. You know, it... <laughs> I'll just giggle in 8th grader there okay and I have actually a brush that I will probably use there it is um it works a little bit, it's a little bit different than Reichland Flesh Shade. I think it has uh, a little bit of a stronger tone to it. I mean, a flesh wash is a flesh wash still. But this one's just, I don't know, Michael, am I, um, Describing this well enough. I know I feel like I'm tripping over my own words right now It has a little bit of a stronger tone to it um, A little bit more brown than yeah a little less uh, red And more brown to it He did not care anymore. <laughs> Life and death, the same. 
only that the crowd was there to meet him with howls of lust and fury. About to use the gloss flesh shade on some gold armor. High hopes. Yeah, that should work pretty good. There you go. What do you think, Michael? What do you think so far? <laughs> yeah. Crom. All right. <laughs> look at my glistening muscles. All right, let's take a look at this guy now that the washes have had a chance to dry. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'd say that turned out pretty good with the mud and then the green on there. I might do a little bit of dry brushing. I'll get the eyes yellow and get the teeth. Yeah, I mean, side by side comparison, I mean, so far, pretty good. And I also am really happy with how the Metal turned out on the spear with that green wash. Okay. I think I need just a little bit of a... Where is it? I don't want rack right. There we go. We'll go with long beard gray. Channel... Some of my space wolf, space wolf wolfiness. I don't want this big of a dry brush. Eh. Yeah, see, look, just a little bit of a dry brush here. Pick out. Some of these details. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice, though I know I could probably have just gotten some uh, makeup brushes for cheaper, but I'm pretty pleased with their overall performance. Just need to get a little bit of the base done on him. But foist, need to do a little bit of a dry brush of Haled Belcher. Yeah, they are.
Though, sometimes the uh, Citadel ones can be okay for what you need them to do. But, um, yeah. If I'm going to have to make a choice, yeah, I'll do use a makeup brush. Or just one of these, really. dry brush there and boo bam okay and there's a little insignia here and you know what we are going to use one of the new reaper colors that I got brine wind brass I figure he's fishy. Let's go with uh... <laughs> and crash. No, my bits, my bits, and my cup, my cup bits. Remember not to use the sable brush for metallics. Oh, just uh, metallic paints are uh, rough on brushes, and especially on a sable brush. It uh, since it's actually like expensive weasel fur, pretty much. It's not really great to use for metallic paints, or at least as far as I've heard. Is that just... Eh, it's a beauty mark now. Okay, and these are definitely moon yellow eyes. They always are. As if on purpose, too. I give him the mess. Yeah. Shiny bits are always the smallest until I get a fucking metallic dragon from Sojan. Alright. Yeah, his eyes are just orbs of yellow. Which, have you ordered that yet? Or are you still just in the uh, planning to do it, just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet stage?
Okay, and then for the Tophers. Now let's go with Yellowed Bone. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to share a link in chat, go ahead, Sojan. So that way other people can see, you know, share with the class. Yeah, and I know I'm running a little long, but hey, seems to be some pretty good energy in chat and everything, so probably finish up the teeth and then probably just call it a night at this rate. Hmm? For what? Kiko? <laughs> Yeah, oof indeed, Michelle. <laughs> it's not quite over this cough quite yet. All right. Yep, see you in Discord, and actually at this point, I will probably just call this good for the evening. And actually, here's the dried wash pretty much on the Barbarian. Oh, I'll, I'll go challenge accepted and um, just dive into it because if I don't challenge myself, I won't get better. Yeah, have a lovely evening too. Um, yeah, um, thank you everybody for swinging by. Thank you everybody for all the bits. Uh, this was a fantastic stream tonight. <coughs> Lots of great energy. Michael, thank you so much for swinging by. It's always great seeing you on stream. Uh, Michelle, I hope there were enough Gura moments for you tonight um yeah uh and you've got the first badge on too in chat i see so 
But yes, if uh, people haven't checked it out yet, go check out Korgoth of Barbaria uh, and be sad. It's not a series. But otherwise, thank you so much, everyone, for coming by. Have a great evening, and just remember to keep painting. <laughs>